Hello, this is Victor again, and this video is about uh, this is, you can call it video part two. Uh, it's the same thing regarding ASP reporting using Visio Basic and Parameter. Um, this is the first video I did on DB.net, and the ideas the idea on this one was just to pass on this little text box uh, filter so you can filter your data. Um, this uh, tutorial was about uh, cars, make, model, year, and color. So on this one, it's gonna be something similar, but in this case, we're gonna filter the data the same way as this tutorial. But on this one, the parameter we're gonna pass is gonna show up also on the report. And this is I'll show you what I've done so far. I'll just run it. Um, here on, at home is the same, the video one. Now I'm just gonna use this other tab here to use for this tutorial. So nothing shows up, that's okay. So the idea is that, like this text box over here, on this one, I'm gonna type also a Nissan. And up right here at the bottom, um, I have a simple button. So when I click this one, you see what happens. So as the previous video, it filters the data. And also, this argument that you pass or the parameter you pass is also on the report itself. So obviously you can uh, say whatever you want to say here. Obviously this is not going to work because I have tied up the text box with the data set. So if I pass this it's not gonna you won't see any data <coughs> the report is blank. But as you can see the idea for this tutorial is to show how you can pass uh, anything you have on the title uh, to to your uh, report viewer or to your report. So if you wanna have different names for your report, you can name it here, have different values for that matter. So you could have one text box to show your header, what the report is about, and you can have another text box for the actual uh, arguments for the data set. So I'm going to show you now how I did that, it's really simple, this guy. At, at first it looks kind of scary, but it's simple. So I'm going to go back to the code. Uh, same thing on the page, just the script manager, the report viewer, a text box, and oh, down here I got a button. So once we click here, uh, if you see, there's nothing on the page load. And what I've done here is I'm using the similar data, actually the same, the same code, starting from clearing the code, the data set from the local report. And the same thing, I'm passing the argument right here. To this uh, adapter to the data set and just copying the data down to the local report data set. Now, once you have the data up to this point, uh, you can set your, your parameter here. But before you start on this line, you need to go back to your report. Here's my report, and it has the same thing as the first video, except the this data set one, the first video was, I think it was report data set, so just keep that in mind. But on this uh, report, what you need to do is here, if you go parameters, and if you cannot find this window, I think it's under view, I think it was kind of hard to find it, but I found it somewhere in here, under view tab. Anyways, once you get this uh, view of this window, just right click and add parameter. And here, name it whatever you want. I set this one to text, but you can select date, anything else, and this will show up right here. Make. Just remember not to add the at sign uh, over here. Do so not do this that way. Just leave it simple. So now the report is expecting uh, parameter here. 
and that's it. And then we, you go back to the code, then you start doing your object report parameter. And simple, you set the value, which is make, that's what I name it here. This must match. And then the value, which you're getting from a text box or from date or whatever. And then you pass it on to your local report. You set the parameter and you pass your report parameter. And that's all there is to it. Nothing complicated. Same code, just adding this line of code. Uh, do not use the refresh. I was testing this, but it doesn't, doesn't work. So that's what you do uh, to pass uh, parameters to your report from uh, your ASP.NET using BB.NET. And the same thing work. The same code will work with C Sharp. So there's no need to um, go crazy about this. Same code will work um, with C sharp. Not the exact same code, of course, but you get the idea to manipulate it back to C sharp. Uh, so if you have any questions.